Hi everyone, it's James here from Pro Tools Expert, back with another gear review. And you can probably tell by the ambience surrounding my voice that I'm not in the studio today. Uh, I'm actually at St. Lawrence Church, which is in the little village of Rowhedge, uh, about 70 miles northeast of London, uh, for those of you who are not in the UK. Uh, and we are testing an amazing microphone. I first saw the Zilia microphone system at the Music Messer in Frankfurt, back in, I think it was uh, April time. And we saw this thing, I thought it was amazing. And I thought, right, gotta get me one of those. So we've got one and we're going to be recording the Elite String Quartet. Um, they're set up behind us and uh, we're gonna try using this amazing one microphone technique. One microphone, 19 capsules uh, and their incredible Zilia Studio software. Uh, and initial tests have been very, very good. Um, so we've set everything up. We'll take you through that process, the calibration for the microphone and all those sort of things. Uh, and we've also videoed it, of course, there's a video. There's a track, there's always a track. And we'll give you the op opportunity to hear how it sounds. Uh, the cool thing about the Zillia Studio system is it not only captures the full kind of 19 diaphragms surround type thing. Um, but it also gives you the option to break it out into the individual instrument tracks and kind of subtracting the other instruments from those individual tracks. It's very clever and very cool. I suspect there are some serious maths going on in the background, uh, but they haven't told me that and they probably won't tell me that. Uh, but it's very, very clever. So the first thing we're gonna do is go through setting it up, calibrating each instrument, uh, and that's quite a simple process. So the first thing we're going to do is ask the first violinist, also known as my dad, to play eight seconds of music so the system can calibrate where he is with regard to the microphone. And after eight seconds, it stops, we hit done, and the system goes away and does its localization of sound source in progress. Sounds impressive and it's gonna put the old man just about there. So now what we have to do is hit recalibrate, hit calibration again, add the second instrument. This time we're gonna add viola, which is bang opposite. It's about a meter and a half, two meters away. And we record another eight seconds of performance. Again, it does its localization of performance thing. Any second now, it will put the viola player bang opposite the first violin in about the right place. It's done it, fantastic. Now we have to go back and do this for the other two instruments. Hit recalibrate. Next, we'll do violin and we'll call this violin two. Calibration is one instrument at a time. It takes a little moment or three, but uh, it's pretty accurate and we'll have another eight seconds, please. Done. Again, localization and doing its magic. This time we should have another 90 degree angle with the second violin, two violins on the bottom and viola on the top right. Recalibrate again. We're gonna start and add a fourth instrument. We'll add some cello, hit next. It's about a meter to two meters. And here we go. Done. And it goes away, works its magic, and it should put the cello just about there, roughly 90 degrees apart. Plenty of separation, we think, and hit continue. So all we have to do now is actually create a new recording. So that's the calibration process complete. It's all done. The instruments are roughly in the right place. I mean, actually, I think it's done a pretty amazing job to put all the instruments kind of absolutely across to each other. There's a few specs and schematics and suggestions in their book of many ideas. And let's face it, no one reads that, so that might as well go. Um, However, do get that one back and read it because there's some really useful ideas about 
how to set your instruments up. The on-screen kind of walkthrough guide for setting up is really, really straightforward, but there's a few things in there about the angles and stuff like that. Um, they do recommend no more than, I think it's six or seven instruments, uh, with 20 degrees of separation between each instrument. So we've gone kind of 90 degree separation between the four instruments. So we've got four instruments kind of like that. Well, that's the idea. Um, and it seems to be working really well. So let's do some recording. And one of the really cool things is we can then extract those tracks and drop them into Pro Tools for a mix. The guys at Zillia really want to point out this is not trying to replace £4,000 worth of microphones. Uh, it's not trying to replace your Neumann's, Austrian or German microphones at all. Um, we've already done that particular session in this building and the acoustic was gorgeous. I think we had six mics for that one, uh, one on each instrument and a pair of room mics. What the Zillia system is designed to do is capture your band's rehearsal practices rather than just having a dreadful kind of dictaphone recording onto micro tape. This system is designed to give you something really impressive, um, certainly good enough for YouTube. Well, you tell us that. Um, but actually, I think it's giving better than just a demo recording. It's actually doing something really rather impressive. Add that with the kind of mix and, those sort of, and the sort of processing going on in Pro Tools and I think it sounds pretty damn impressive. So we'll cut back to the studio and you'll get to see some of this and exactly what we've got and the sort of stuff we've done to it. Uh, a bit of processing, not very much because quite frankly there's plenty of ambience in the room itself. It's a lovely acoustic in here, which is why we've chosen to do it here. So uh, back to the studio.